pretty tonight. Good morning. It is Friday. Yeah. And it's supposed to be Zeus, really. Zeus always lays on the remote. Anyway, um, we're, it's supposed to be a good weekend for us. Last night, we went out to dinner. And I got to pick what I wanted for food. And I'm like, what do you want for food? So we, like, compromised and went to a sit-down restaurant, which we don't really do anymore. And, um... So that way we could both order what we wanted. And so that was nice. And I don't think I've put this in a video yet because I was going to. And then I got frustrated with the video I was filming because my ears started bothering me again. It's like an off and on situation now, which is an improvement. Um, and the doctor said if there's improvement, that is a good thing. But I get to start a new medicine. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but sweet oil has been helping. A crap time. But anyway, um, Celia got me a few new journals. Well, she sent them to me because she's moving, I guess, in the next, like, few months or so. And she's getting rid of some to make space because she buys them. And um, I don't really get to buy any. And plus, I don't need to buy any because I do have some. And I'm, if we're, like, you know, trying to budget for other things and pay bills, then I really don't have any business buying more of things that I already have, if that makes sense. So anyway, these are exceed, or not exceed, what I, what I meant to say, what is the word? The kind that I really like now, um, paper age. So she got me, sent me <laughs> this paper age and it's the raspberry one. So I took it off my Amazon list and then she also sent me this one. And I don't have this one on my Amazon list. I thought I did, but I didn't. So um, I'm going to save this one for hopefully, hopefully crossing my fingers. I don't know how this is all going to go um, with my health and stuff. But if we get to go somewhere where there's like vacation-y vibes, I'll probably use this this summer. But either way, I'll probably use it this summer. And um, so I'm kind of trying to plan next year's journals, but I always change my mind and I don't use the ones I say I'm going to because things happen like the one I'm using now I didn't expect to use um next I was going to use my red one and so on and so on so I'm gonna get my coffee now and tomorrow we're going to a party so I'm gonna spend today getting ready for tomorrow basically picking out an outfit and all the things Oh, I didn't turn off. Okay, now that I have my coffee and everything. So my ENT said that I need to knock off drinking so much coffee, which is not very fun for me because I'm a coffee drinker. Like my mom is a coffee drinker. My grandmother was a coffee drinker. You know, like Jesse's mom is a coffee drinker and she'll drink it throughout the day. His grandma would do the same thing. So, like, I've just been around coffee drinkers my whole life. And so, you know, I just... And, like, one time... I remember one time in particular, I was sick with a sore throat. And I had sore throats often back when I was a kid. And um, my mom would give me, like, a little bit of warm coffee for my throat. I don't know if I should say that, but here we are. Anyway, I'm old now and it doesn't matter, so. Um, anyway, so I, I was like, oh, this tastes good. So I've just always loved it since I was little. Most kids would be like, this doesn't taste good, but I just thought it was so good. And so like as an adult, it's just my thing. So anyway, I started using my little teacups for coffee, so I'll drink less. But at least I get to use a cute cup, right? I love it all. And then... You do that. I guess it's been a two-way street. He said, move your hands. <laughs> I caught that on video, Zeus. That looks funny.
Yet again, just stating, ignore the way I look. I know I don't look as great as I once did. It is what it is. Um, so clearly, the car got towed again. But this was a whole different situation. Um, so, sorry, I had something. Anyway, um, Jess was in a car accident yesterday. He was very, very shaken up all day. Um, he got to experience that whole trauma memory thing, that memory block where your brain kind of like blocks out really, really traumatic stuff and you can't remember. I've experienced that twice in my life and it is really horrifying because you're like, I want to remember something and you can't. Um, and then, yeah, it was just crazy. So I guess he was on one side of the highway I don't know if it's two or three lanes. I can't remember. And um, he hit something. He doesn't know what it was. Um, and then his tire basically exploded. Exploded. He's like, I don't remember seeing anything in the road. And I don't remember crossing the lanes of traffic. And I'm like, it's a good thing you, your brain probably blocked that out. And um, he ended up slamming into the median wall on the driver's side and he got so lucky I swear there was just somebody watching out for him because that could have killed him it could have caused so many other cars to wreck with him it could have killed multiple people somehow there were no other cars involved and he's okay I don't know how but somehow and um so all day he was just pretty much a wreck and he was like trying to remember how we got over there and the impact and he just couldn't. And um, I'm like, it's okay. You don't need to remember your brain is in shut off mode, blocking you from remembering that so you don't remember it. If you don't remember, you're not supposed to, it's okay. You don't need to remember it. There's no reason for you to remember that. And he's just, I'm like, you're safe. I'm safe. We love each other. We're here for each other. Like, that is all that matters right now. In the grand scheme of everything, that is what matters. And I'm like, I know that people have told me, just be grateful you're alive after my surgery when I was, you know, and I'm still going through crap now. And it's just like, you can be grateful all you want, but things are still going to bother you. You're a human being. People can tell you that all you want. So I understand. So if you need to talk about it, talk about it. I'm here. I'll hold your hand and I'll listen to you. So um, his neck and shoulders are really sore today. I woke up deaf in my right ear today and all I can hear is just like a really loud humming. It's driving me nuts. Um, I'm still taking everything except for the water pill that I was prescribed. I was trying really hard not to. But I think I'm going to have to end up taking it. I was trying to tell myself it's an inner ear infection. That I don't have what the doctor said. Um, which is Meniere's disease or vestibular migraines. They were trying to differentiate because they're very similar. But um, I think they might be right. So I'm going to take all of this antibiotic and then call and see how long it is before I have to take the water pill. Um, if it doesn't work, so today is day three on antibiotic and I have a full seven to ten days to take it. So yeah, we're both going through some crap, but we're trying to survive it together. Money's still an issue. Um, I'm sure we'll figure it out. I don't know. Everything's kind of a mess in our lives and we were talking about it last night. And we're like, God, that we really just hope that 2025 brings better things 
and we're trying to be like, I just feel like it will, I feel like it will, things are gonna get better. I know they have to get better. Things were great, and then I got sick, like really sick, more than usual, and all of a sudden our lives just collapsed. Like, we can't afford anything. Like, we still owe bills that I'm scared if we don't pay them. Like, it's at this breaking point, and I don't understand sometimes like it's not like I'm like please send money because I'm not but you know you see people go through worse or not worse we've gone through worse things than other people and we see like people you know getting GoFundMe set up for them and no one really did that for us and we're just kind of like why did we get no help you know what I mean like where was everyone um so anyway, it's just been really hard and we're like, wow, you know, now we know who everybody is in our lives and life is changing. Life is really, really changing. I hope it gets better. I, you know, because it's just been hard for about five years now and we're ready to enjoy life again because it's been hard to enjoy I won't lie for both of us um, but we love each other and we're trying our best to just be there for each other and do what we can to stick by each other so um, I'm supposed to have another practice tomorrow will I be there will I not I don't I don't know at this point I don't know what's gonna happen with music that's another thing that I'm really devastated, devastated about. Like, I've cried so much. I've just been a mess. So, these vlogs aren't great. And this is a really, really... I didn't think things were going to get any worse. Like, I thought, you know, we were through the, the hard times and that things were going to get better. And somehow they've taken a whole deeper turn for the 13th level of hell. And I'm just ready for a break. And I just want to get through it together, unscathed somehow. Not really unscathed because we're pretty scarred up from it. But uh, I want to live to tell the tale. You know what I mean? I want to be old sitting on our house front porch someday saying we got to move out of our apartment and that we survived and that we went through all of these hard times, you know? If people from the Depression can do it, we can do it. Zeus, stop! Dude, he cannot handle me talking to anybody else. He can't handle me doing anything else. He has to, like, freak out and be like, let me just lick your hand. Like, crap, dude. Anyway, um, if people in the Depression can do it, we can do it. I just don't know how, but <laughs> there's got to be a way. That's all I know. There's got to be a way together that we can figure this crap out and that I can feel better. Like, people just think it's my ear, but your ear affects balance. And I've about fallen over in a crap a couple times. And, um, you know, I look drunk to people. And I'm not drunk. Sorry, I just ate lunch, by the way, if you're seeing my bowl. This was the remnants at the bottom of my soup. Um, that we've been eating for a couple days now, so I just finished the last bottom half off. But I'm a, I'm going to take it to the sink here and just a little bit. I have to do dishes today, but anyway, it affects my balance. I look drunk to people, um, but the fact is, is just my balance is really affected because my inner ear is affected, and so it's people are like, maybe you should suck it up and just get a job. Maybe I can shake you around a couple times, put you on a tilt-a-whirl and set you free and tell you to go to work. You know what I mean? Like, that kind of crap is just like, you literally don't get it. Let me just, let me just help you out with that and maybe, like, show you what it's like before you say anything about something. You can't say something about something that you don't know what somebody's going through. Like, just don't do it. Because... You don't want to find out. Let me just tell you. Like, if you've ever had an inner ear infection and the world is spinning, could you go to work? No? Okay. Anyway. Because um, you couldn't drive a car. 
you couldn't even walk. So, I mean, I don't, <sighs> it's frustrating. Um, so anyway, the fight for disability goes on. The fight for my life goes on. Basically, um, trying to get through the money thing goes on. The last five years can bleep off. And, um, things need to start getting better now because I'm, I'm here for the better. I don't, I don't want to see any worse. I've had enough. Thank you for enjoying my videos and listening to me complain. I'm going to do more journaling videos in the future, but right now I haven't even been able to journal. I just haven't felt well, blah, blah, blah. So eventually I'll get back to it and I will shoot out more videos. So I will see you then. Bye.